Welcome back. We are here on Nitro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 28, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow our trades over here at Nitro. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did try to rally today. We got towards 90.98 and then broke down significantly. And this is not a really good sign for the US dollar index. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this current stage. We're on the edge of being oversold, but there's still a lot of room to the downside. We could see this drop towards the bottom of the bullish band down here at 90.30. If we rally, we'll most likely find a major resistance here at the 50 moving, 20 exponential moving average at 91.48. So we have a crossing here at the 20 exponential and the 50, and uh, it looks like this is going to go lower and even if we rally they will most that those rally will most likely be sold into at this current stage so let's look at oil so oil has uh, been all over the place in the last few trading days uh, we are in a really tight range of uh, the highs of uh, 64 and the lows down here at 60 so we're technically just hovering in between here trending sideways at this point it looks like we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band at 64.5 technical indicators are fairly bullish but due to the fact that we've basically been trading sideways they are technically very flat indeed break below the 50 moving average could open the door to the very bottom here at the 58 and uh, rally above these previous the highs could open the door to the previous highs over here at the 67. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to rally and uh, continues this really impressive run to the upside towards uh, $3. We're approaching that and uh, that will most likely be the target at this current stage. So we have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50. We'll mostly also have a crossing of, uh, of the 20 simple moving average and the 50. And uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are still very bullish. See, this MACD, MACD is uh, bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and CCI is bullish, but the RSI is leveling off. We're at, at uh, 71 at this current stage, so we are overbought at this point, and we're approaching the top of the bullish band. But still, this is a major move to the upside, even this time of year. And most likely the target here will be three dollars. Uh, breakdowns from here will most likely find major support down at the twenty exponential. That is at the two point seven four five six. So let's look at copper. So copper kind of got to its target up here at four point five, and then it just pulled back a little bit. And at this current stage, it wouldn't be surprising if. Uh, we saw uh, copper pull back to the previous highs here at give or take 4.3 before then we go on higher. So world is going back to work and uh, copper is a very, very important metal in any uh, production or manufacturing of in any sort. And it will most likely continue rallying. So it has basically been rallying for a long long time you have to go all the way back to to the bottom here it is basically march last year and it has basically been rallying ever since and it doesn't look like uh, it is about to slow down anytime soon it has occasionally gone parabolic as it did here and then it basically fell all the way down towards the 50 moving average it looks like it is becoming fairly parabolic yet again and we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average we are on the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators are still in bullish territory, but they are turning around. So let's look at gold. So gold is uh, still just trading sideways. It has been doing nothing the last uh, three days at least. Uh, technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this point. So we could see this uh, fall towards the 20 exponential at the 1761 or the 50 moving average down here at 1745. If we break the 50 moving average, then we could drop to where the bottom. If we rally toward, 
above these highs here, we could head towards that 200 moving average. So that is at 80.54. But otherwise, nothing has really happened here today. So let's look at silver. So silver, same thing. We're just trading sideways. Uh, technical indicators are either flat or bullish at this point. Uh, we are mostly going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. And usually that is a fairly bullish sign and we could see the spike towards the upside. If we do, then we'll have the top of the bullish band here at 26.68. And the rallies above that could lead the door towards the 27.50. Break below the 50 moving average over the dollar to the 200 moving average at 2538 uh, and below that all the way down to towards $24. So let's look at platinum. There has not been the same movement in uh, the commodities market and the precious metals market today as it has been the last few trading days. So platinum has uh, been rallying and it is doing the same thing it has been doing for uh, several weeks now. It has been rallying towards the uh, top of the bullish band, breaking down to where bottom. Now we again rally towards the top and breaking down. So if we break the 50 moving average, we could see this drop towards the very bottom at 11.54.52. Technical indicators are either flat or becoming bearish at this current stage. But top of the bullish band is significant, uh, so resistant at this current stage. So let's look at pallium. Sorry, that was wrong. So Pallion continues to rally, but it looks like we're running out of steam at this current stage. We are overbought. We are at 71. Technical indicators are still bullish, but uh, momentum looks like we are running out of that at this at this point. So we could head towards a 3000 and that will probably be uh, a price level where we'll pull back towards the 20 exponential or the previous highs here at the 27.45. So at this current point, it basically pullback is expected as we have been rallying outside of the bullish band for a very long time now. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has pulled back a little bit. Uh, technical indicators are still in bullish territory, and uh, you can just see the stochastic leveling off here and crossing the signal line, but. Uh, at this current stage, pull back towards the 20 exponential, which has been major support in the past, is kind of expected as we are we are approaching overbought conditions and they are basically at the top of the bullish band. And usually when that is the case, it tends to pull back before uh, going higher. That has basically been the way this has been behaving. So pull back towards the, the 20 exponential down here at 22.99. Um, could be what we are going to see the next few trading days. Otherwise, uh, we are significantly overstretched at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has finally um, gotten towards the 50 moving average. So we have been rallying the last three trading days and now it's looking more promising. We are technically above the 50 moving average and have closed above the 50 moving average. So if you get another green candlestick here and another closing, that could be an indication that we are about to see this market rally back towards the upside. It just absolutely fell apart, trading sideways, fell towards the 200 moving average, found support here, and since then it has been uh, rocketing towards the upside. Technical indicators are all fairly bullish at this point, even though the MACD is underneath zero, it has crossed the signal line, and other indicators are uh, basically pointing to higher levels. If we were to break down from here, you'll mostly find support down here at the 20 exponential at 16,335 and the 200 moving average down here at 15,970. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has absolutely exploded today. We are up at 0 0.1790 and we're approaching the very highs of this range. We will probably create a double top here before going back down. We are significantly overbought. We are significantly overstretched. So pullbacks at this point are kind of expected as we are really far away from basically support here at the 
20 exponential moving average at 0.1630. So yes, buying it at this, uh, at this point is, uh, uh, well, very, very, very risky. So let's look at cotton. So same thing here in cotton. We are also on the edge of being overbought. We are at 70. Technical indicators are very bullish, but we are significantly outside of the bullish band and could pull back at any point. We will mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, will, which is also a very bullish shine. As you can see here, we have a crossing to the downside where we basically fell and a crossing to the upside could send this even higher. You'll mostly run into major uh, resistant here at the very highs at 0 0.9382. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa has, um, well, nothing has really happened today. We did break down towards the 20 exponential, found support, rallied, and now we're just hovering at the 50 moving average. And uh, I'll say the same thing as I've been saying for a little long time. It has been absolutely horrible trading this. I have used to trade this all the time, but now I'm just just uh, taking a big pause from this because uh, it is all over the place it can break down it can rally it can break down and there's no really clear pattern where this uh, this um, commodities technically is going technical are also all over the place so they're not really helpful either so let's look at wheat so this is a trade that i did make and uh, did it too early and uh, it should have basically sold it here I sold it earlier on, but uh, that was basically uh, too early. As you can see, we did rally all the way up towards the 771 and then created this extremely bearish candlestick. At this current stage, technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still very bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, is bearish. CCI is still in bullish territory and the uh, and the RSI is at 78 at this current stage but when we have this kind of pullback and we are so significantly outside of the of the Bollinger band um, a pullback is kind of expected it is also the end of the contract and new contracts will basically be uh, be tomorrow so that's probably also the reason why we have basically a sell off here so Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow our trades here over at Etero. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.